Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be replacing the optical drive in a 2009 Mac Mini. Make sure to watch the video all the way through before attempting this upgrade. As you'll see, getting into the Mini is a somewhat tricky procedure and professional installation is suggested. We've gathered our materials, shut down and unplugged the Mini, and are working on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. To get inside the Mini, we first need to flip it over. To loosen the clips holding the top cover on, you'll need a small bladed putty knife. Carefully insert the blade of the putty knife between the inner and outer case. Then, gently but firmly pry outward with the knife, which will cause it to detach the inner clips from the case. Carefully work your way around the Mini's edges. You'll hear a series of pops as the clips come free. Once you get to the rear of the Mini, the case should be separated enough that you can simply flip the Mini back over and lift the cover up and off. Inside, there are three antennas that need to be removed. The large antenna on the right has a small clip underneath which you'll need to squeeze to release. Set the antenna out of the way and remove the spring so you don't accidentally knock it into the Mini. The two smaller antennas on the left simply pull up and out. You can set these springs aside as well. Next, detach this ribbon cable by simply lifting it away from its connector. Now we can remove the drive itself. The optical drive is located on the top part of the drive assembly and is held in place by six screws. The first two are along the rear of the Mini, holding the SATA card to the drive. You'll have to move the ribbon cable to the side to remove the first one. The next two screws are along the left side of the Mini. The final two screws are on the right side, recessed under the flared edge of the drive. Once these screws have been removed, you can gently lift the front edge of the drive up and slide it forward out of the carrier. Depending on the model, your new optical drive may or may not come with a front bezel attached. If it did, you'll need to remove the bezel before continuing. If it didn't come with a bezel, you can skip the next step. The bezel is held in by a series of tabs which can be unlatched with a small screwdriver or nylon pry tool. Two on the top, one on the side, and two on the bottom. Once these clips have been detached, you can simply slide the bezel off the front of the drive and set it aside. The drive is now ready to install into your Mini. There are four anti-static cushions on the original drive which will need to be transferred to the new one. Simply peel them off the original drive and gently press them onto the same place on the new one. There should be enough residual adhesive on the pads to hold them in place. Line the SATA port on the new drive up with the connector on the carrier and slide the drive into place. Next, replace the six mounting screws we removed earlier. You may have to adjust the drive slightly so that the holes line up. You can now place the springs on the antenna posts Then attach the antennas themselves by pushing them back into place and making sure the wires are positioned behind the clips. For the large antenna on the right, you may need to squeeze the clip you use to remove it in order to replace it. Finally, reattach the drive ribbon cable. You may now replace the top cover and push down evenly around all edges until it clips flush back into place.
You may now flip your Mac Mini back over, plug it in, and turn it on. 